We Are Memory Keepers is known for creating innovative products, and one of their latest ones is called a Fuse Tool. Hmm. It is a fun <laughs> tool used to create photo pockets, uh, shaker cards, right. other kinds of little photo sleeves, and we're going to show you how to do that. Right, so come, come play, play with that. us. Well, here is the Fuse tool all right. by itself in the package. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this contains all of the, the items that we're going to be showing you. It has a six and a half inch ruler, which I'll go ahead and show you that yeah. it looks like this. It's a metal ruler, and that's perfect for using the Fuse, fuse tool within this slot. The tool itself is this long barreled uh, handle here, and you plug it in, it gets hot, and it has two different tips. It has the little tip that goes around and makes a seam and then it has a cutting tip that seals and cuts all together. Plus it has a little stand for holding it when it's hot. And we're also showing some waterfall uh, photo sleeves. There are 20 in this package, but we'll do that in just a second. So right. do you want to bring the tool okay, in? Okay, the tool is here. It's already plugged in and I want to show you that I put a piece of washi tape around here <laughs> to remind me that it's hot because you don't want to touch anything past this past this plastic, it gets very hot. And that's what makes it perfect for fusing plastics together. When I do that, I'm gonna put a piece of cardboard down. Regular cardstock or cardboard is great for protecting your surface. Uh, surface. What I have is one of these waterfall sleeves. We okay, talked, right. They the are sleeves. four inch by four inch mm -hmm. photo sleeves. Looks like that. Looks See, like it's that. clear. Right. <laughs> I've already been sort of playing with one. It's open at one end and it is fused along this side and this side. It's been folded at the bottom. So it's a pocket already, but you can use it for lots of other things. And one of the things you can use it for is, um, uh, well actually I'm just going to use this right away on there. So I've got this little circular thing on here. It's like a little rotary. Right, a little rotary wheel that when you roll it, the little wheel rolls. I'll turn it sideways so we can see, get up close. Okay. There you go. There. So, so there's a little has those little wheel. spoky things. Yeah, it might, might remind you of something a dressmaker might use. <laughs> or a to, pizza cutter. Right, that, there you go too. And it, you can see those little holes that it makes. And this is really hot. So I've got this double layer of plastic and this is kind of a softer plastic that's used on these photo sleeves and when you run it along here it will go right into I know you can't see it yet because there we go cameras hiding it but you can move it around you can make whatever shape that you want you sort of go kind of slowly don't go too fast or it'll slip and it fuses that together I'm going to place that on the little stand so right where it ran, it fused it together. It sort of sticks a little bit to the cardboard. Just pick it up. And those pieces are now stuck together, and it creates a seam right. and a little pocket. Now, you did a video on our website showing video, yeah, right. how you use it. But mm -hmm. we just thought it would be good to get a few more projects and a little more hands-on. Right. Now, this could be um, something that you would attach to a child's backpack or a luggage. Um, and it is using one of those waterfall right. uh, photo sleeves. One of sleeves. those waterfall right. photo sleeves. So Lene started with that. She placed, uh, first of all, she decorated that. So she's got some of the papers. She's got dazzles on there. Right. And then, on, and she put Monkey dazzles. On there. Monkey dazzles, <laughs> really cute. On the other side, she's got a photo. Ah. So there's an identification tag. And once she right. put that together, she placed it within the photo sleeve. And with that photo in there, then you can seal it by setting this down. So imagine that that photo is within there, and then you use the fuse tool ruler, and you're going to place that right along the edge of that photo. And then you can use this just to go ahead and seal it. Now there are two tips. The tip that I'm using is the piece that will seal it, and then you can cut off right next to it once it's sealed. So I went all the way to the top there. I'm going to place that uh, fuse tool back on the stand. And then when you remove the ruler, it only takes a couple of seconds for it to cool off enough to handle. It's no big deal. That is sealed now. So now you can, you can no longer open this end of it. And then I would just take uh, scissors. Well, why don't you show the uh, tip, <clears throat> the oh, okay. uh, cutting tip. All right, there's also a cutting tip right. which seals and cuts it at the same time. Now, I'm not going to put that right on there because the fuse tool is already hot. 
You can use pliers to remove them when they're hot, but I prefer to let it cool down. Then you place this on there, and when this is on the end of the fuse tool, it gets hot, it seals, but it also cuts at the same time. Okay, so you've got two options. Right, you can do that, or you can cut it with scissors right along the edge of that, and then mm -hmm. you'll have what you're looking at here. Okay, so this little, so it lets you encase things so you can think about it that right. way. Pockets. Now, here is another thing that you can do with those um, photo sleeves, mm -hmm. and this is a pull-out, so Several of these have been fused together. Oh, that's true. And um, just to make a really sweet little um, memory book. I, I just love that. And then you can just slide those pictures in there. If I can grab a few of those uh, waterfall sleeves, I'll just lay them down and show you sure. how Susan did that. You so can have she as just, many as you want. Okay. <laughs> so she took these and she laid them this, let's see, this way. I'm gonna get the pocket up at the top and turn it this way and then here's another pocket put the pocket on the top part here with that tab on the bottom and she laid them right on top of each other like this one she laid this tab right over the end of this tab ah. or not the tab but the end so now you've got both the tabs on the left side and then she fused this in, in two lines one line here and one line there and if you look at this. So there are those two lines. There are those two lines, but she left that pocket open I so see. that she could slide the photo in. And then you move down and do the next one until you've got a whole length of those right. fused together. Well, pieces. and what's nice about that is if you decide you want to change this, mm -hmm. you can. And that four inch size is a nice, it's a nice size. It lets right. you get your photograph or whatever you mm -hmm. want. Uh, larger. Now, this happens to be using um, letterpress, not um, all the papers, but also the die cuts. And mm -hmm. you can see the words live and that's laugh. been used right there live, and laugh, laugh and, and love. Love. Yeah, so very all nice. Three of those die cuts, and I just, I love that. It's a look. sweet piece. Even the smaller pieces or the corner pieces are used on the photo. So, and you can exchange those, you can take them out. And you know, change when the kids get a little older, you can add a new one on there. And this is great to sit on somebody's it's a nice, desk. Very nice whatever. gift, Oops, right? I mess it up. All right. Okay. <laughs> now you talked about shaker cards when right. we started, and here is an example. And we're going to shake them just to show. Now with shaker cards, the deal is to keep the stuff inside. Right. And the stuff that we have used is um, spoonful of snow, right. which is just quite perfect. Now that's this, really, mm -hmm. this has ahead. embossing powder and shaved ice and some things, right. but, and you can use it of course as, um, as you would and heat, right. uh, heat it for stamping but it really makes a great fill for a shaker card. It does, and now the, the shaker portion of this is closed between uh, the papers on this card. So you've got, you've got you can actually see through, you can ah. see my fingers through it, but it is between, so there's paper on this side and that side, so there's actually a large square and it's just sealed on that uh, circular opening so that the shaker stuff all stays up in the right. center there. And that again was, now you can use the waterfall sleeves. Mm -hmm. You can also use um, sheet protectors. So the uh, 12 by 12 sheet mm -hmm. protectors, right. uh, this happens to be Pioneer that we carry. So those will work. What will not work is heat resistant acetate. Guess why? Because it's heat resistant. Yeah, it well. It resists the heat. We did, however, <laughs> test it just to make sure to make and sure. it doesn't work. Right. So go with sheet protectors that will Has work to be for that you. a little softer, a little bit more <laughs> yeah. pliable um, plastic. And in this case, Debbie took uh, the, uh, this is using the snow globe, the snow globe cutting die. Uh -huh. And uh, it, go, it cuts out the snow globe, it cuts out these pieces. And what she did, instead of cutting the plastic out because it might be a little bit hard to seal that shape, she wanted to make it easy. She just left this as is, traced around this, and then she used the fuse tool. I thought to you had the cutting die. Uh, oh, well, I have the cutting die for something else. Oh, okay. She could have used that. I didn't think about that. <laughs> yeah, you definitely could have. I'm going to do that. <laughs> these, are the, these are the circles and scallops cutting right. dies, but there is that round cutting die that comes with the snow globe. Right. And this works great because it's metal. You can take and go right around like this. You can use it 
as a template right. for sealing. I don't want to cut it because I want to seal it between those two um, pieces of a pattern paper. And of course, you car. would have put your uh, snow a spoonful of snow in it before no, you have. sealed it. No, I wouldn't have. I because I'm going to stop. Oh, up okay. At the top. Right. So, and then I'm going to seal it when I get up to the gotcha. top. If it's kind of hard to put the um, the spoonful of snow in there and then try to capture it with this, but okay. so just leave an opening. I, yeah, just leave an okay. opening, and then before I, I tried to get my scissors and I dropped them. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> before you seal it completely, just make sure that you have an opening up at the top like so. Then you can open that up, sh put your little, shake your little uh, uh, spoonful of snow in there. Okay. And once it's in there, then you grab your fuse tool again and seal it. And this does get hidden behind there, so I'm just going to sort right. of um, do this without using the, there we go. And then when you're done, you'll have that nice little you have shake. This. Now, just so that you know the rest of the process is that Debbie used the snow globe stamp to get all of those snowflakes on there and the horizon line. Right. And uh, down here, she also added uh, more snow. So you can another see. little shaker pocket. Yeah. And so you make sure you have three sides um, uh, sealed. And then you want to slide in. I love the little cutting that she used, the cutting dies yeah. from the snow globe cutting she die did. to uh, add these little trees in there and the snowflakes. And then just add your spoonful of snow and seal it at the top. And the stand is also part of the snow globe right. cutting die, which mm -hmm. will be back in stock in January. Okay. So still during the winter season. And inside, she also, oh, as like you that. said, this was clear, so you okay. see the paper, mm -hmm. but she also did a Noel down there. So that's a, you know, yeah. really quickly, I want to show you. Uh -huh. I did show this on the product video, but I took one of our die cuts, and this is actually from an Artful Card Kit die cut. I placed it within there, and I went around and sealed it around, but left it open at the top so that I could add the spoonsful of snow in there. Oh, to and make an ornament. To make an ornament shaker. So okay. there's the die cut. It's in there. It's an ornament. And it's the afterwards, I sealed it all the way around. And then you've got a little ornament shaker. Very Another way neat. of doing that. Yes. Okay. Now, it does talk about these are waterfall sleeves. So mm -hmm. what's with that, you might ask? <laughs> well, here we have, let's get our cord out of the way. Okay. And so the waterfall part is here. And as we get in, we'll see uh, Christmas morning at home. We've got photos mm -hmm. and more photos right. and some absolutely charming step. Oh, a baby Santa. Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> so Lene set, uh, put one of these photos in each one of the um, waterfall sleeves. photo mm -hmm. sleeves. Then she sealed along the edge of the photo so that the photo <sighs> won't come out. So you see that sealed edge. And I'm going to leave this up for just okay. a second. So here's as if the photo sleeve was right here. She put the photo into the pocket like this. And the flap is down. And the flap is down at the bottom. Then she sealed along the bottom edge right there at the photo. And then she used ultra tape right on this tab to tape oh. it down so that it could just fold down afterwards. She's covered it up with a strip of paper, which is another nice look. So all you have to do is fold that down, and there you go. Now there's your waterfall, your cascading oh, photos that just come down just like that. I love the use of papers all in here, the strips yes. of papers. I love, what is that? That's this is all Winter's means, Garden. Winter's Garden, yes. right. Both die cuts and mm -hmm. papers, but really cute. Now, um, if you are going to slip this in a sheet protector, just cut away the sheet protector in this area so that these can right. sit on the outside of it and that way you can do the interactive part of it even when it's in your album. And you can actually use the, the fine point of the fuse tool to do that. It will cut uh, cut away the edge. Oh, you can, sure. You can cut sure. slits. Also, after you seal something within one of these pockets, you can, uh, if there is a die cut in there or something hard like cardboard or cardstock, you can use that cutting tool portion of the fuse tool to cut a slit and oh. it won't damage what's behind it and okay. you can get in and out of the pocket. So okay, there's lots of things to think about. On those, mm -hmm. on the other um, scrap, uh, 
sheet protectors. The, yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> the regular sheet the protectors. The uh -huh. 12, the 12 by 12. 12. Here's one that I did where I, the large opening was up at the top. I put a photo down at the bottom, and then I ran a line. I don't know if you can see it on the white. Yeah, there you it's go. better on here. I ran a line with the fuse tool right along there to oh. make a seal so that I can put a photo here. You can slide another photo in here if you want to. And then I used the waterfall sleeves on the right and just <laughs> attach them to make another waterfall piece right there. Oh, excellent. So that's another great thing you can do just with those large 12 by 12 sheet protectors. So you really can customize, kind right. of make your own pocket pages. Right. You don't even right. have to put the waterfalls on here. You can just seal right. your photos in there, maybe some journaling, and you have a seal Very piece. clever. One final thing I want to show you is just the way that this rests on the um, stand. You can see, let me turn it sideways, so the little stand, and that rests right there. So it really is, um, even though that's wiggly, it's sturdy. It's right. not going anywhere. It stays on there. And right. you have more ideas. Just real quickly, another, you know, there's lots of things that you can put in those shakers. So I just made a little window in this car, very simple to do. I used one of the small waterfall protectors. I, I did a line here, and I filled it up, and then I put a line here. And in this case, I used the little micro glass beads mm -hmm. and a few little die cuts. So lots of fun little um, ways little of making a shaker card. You put that on the inside of your card, and there you go. You've got a you shaker can window. play with that. You can put little tiny treasures in here. These can go on scrapbook pages. You know, it'd be great for memorabilia, sure. like baseball cards or anything else Something like that. Something you kind of want to protect. to seal mm -hmm. and protect. And so that's basically, yeah. what, what is the other thing? Oh, <laughs> the I found that you can also, I put on the back of the sheet protector, I put a strip of the glitter adhesive. The clear glitter adhesive. And then I sealed through that you can, and now you have several little pockets that you can put little items in there. It'd be cute on the edge of a card or something like that. And it does go right through that glitter adhesive. So ah, good to know. Too. Okay, okay, so shaker cards and um, the and waterfall, cards, waterfall cards, just a cards. lot of things that you can do right. with a fuse tool. Scrapbooking is really fun with those. I love the little, uh, the little tag, the ID tag, that was fun. Right. Lots of fun things and just be careful when you use it. It's hot. It's hot. Because <laughs> <laughs> it fuses, hence the name. Okay. Have fun.